most of the planet is covered by water. These vast oceans are a cauldron of violence, a world much more dangerous than the land above. This is the brutal world where an ultimate predator is born and entombed in this chalk are giant fossils of Mosasaur. In the late 1830s, the bones of the beast are first uncovered in North America. This is where the mystery of the Mosasaur begins, because nobody can say just what this creature is. It is a question that first arises when a massive skull is found near the Mose River in Holland. The first guy who looked at it thought it was part of a fossil whale. It was also thought to be the jaws of a crocodile, uh, a giant lizard, and one person even suggested it was a dragon slain by a medieval knight. A French paleontologist described it as a Mosasaur, meaning Mose River reptile. Eventually, the American bones are matched up with the earlier fossil find in Europe and correctly identified as a Mosasaur. Over the next 80 years, as scientists begin the serious hunt for dinosaur fossils, a pattern emerges. In every corner of the globe, they find Mosasaur bones. This points to one conclusion. No other predator has ever dominated the planet like the Mosasaur. This guy weighed eight tons. It could easily swallow a full-grown human male whole, just like a tater tot. Scientists investigating Mosasaurs realized that nothing on Earth could have stopped them. It took a cosmic catastrophe to end their reign. As scientists explore Mosasaur evolution, their investigation yields a startling revelation. The ocean's top predator came from the land. These sea monsters began their journey as tiny lizards at the mercy of giant dinosaurs. How they became colossal Mosasaurs remains a mystery until 1989, when a fossil hunter named Van Turner finds a very unusual skeleton. Turner takes the fossil to Mike Polson, a paleontologist at Southern Methodist University. When Van came across the first pieces of Dallasaurus, he immediately recognized it as some sort of Mosasaur. Named Dallasaurus after its discovery in Dallas, Texas, the bones were pieced together. Then, scientists connect the dots. Dallasaurus is an interim form, a missing link between mosasaurs and the tiny terrestrial lizards that are their ancestors. The lizards, dubbed Aegialosaurs, face a constant threat from the larger, fiercer dinosaurs. They flee to the ocean. Three million years later, they evolve into Dallasaurus. Their toes evolve into webbed feet, so they can no longer function on land. In the span of six million years, they grow from a small three-foot lizard into the giant 50-foot Mosasaur. The Mosasaur's development demonstrates that even in evolution, timing is everything. Warm temperatures and shallow seas create an abundant food chain in the ocean. This is a perfect environment for animals to take to the water. But these life-giving seas can quickly turn deadly, even for mosasaurs. The competition is everywhere. Everything in the oceans then would have looked very strange to us today. All the fish seemed to have been armed with mouthfuls of teeth, it seemed like everything in that ocean was a predator and just built for killing things. Like Zephactinus, a bony fish that is armed with a mouth full of long, needle-like teeth. 
The plesiosaurs are marine reptiles and top predators for over 100 million years. They come in two lethal varieties. One deals death through speed and agility. The other is a behemoth, so mammoth, nothing dares challenge it. And of course, there are the sharks. These predators were around 100 million years before dinosaurs had ever roamed the Earth. This is a tooth from a large shark that lived during this time, during the age of Mo when Mosasaurus swam in this ocean. It's from a shark called Cretoxoranomantelli, the Ginsu shark. And I called it that specifically because it sliced and diced. The Ginsu is a giant shark. Reaching a length of 25 feet, it dwarfs any modern great white. This shark was literally able to bite through bone. We know that because we find pieces of mosasaur that have literally been severed from the bodies, swallowed, partially digested, and then regurgitated again. To survive, mosasaur had to change its land-based behavior, tearing out a place for itself at the very top of the food chain. But what allowed this creature to evolve into such a relentless killer? It's all in the bite. You'd probably be in shock after a bite like this. to miss out on the Mosasaur. Ninety-five million years ago, it is just a small lizard forced to flee into the ocean. Within six million years, it grows into one of the most successful predators of all time. But what made the Mosasaur such a monster killer? Millions of years of evolution created a perfect formula for the perfect killer. This is how you make an apex predator. First and foremost, breathing. Like whales, mosasaurs can spend long hours submerged in the sea, but they still have to come up for air. And then there's food. Fish are nutritious, but they're fast and slippery. To catch them, mosasaurs must develop the skills of an efficient hunter. Another part of the formula, hearing. In the water, sound location becomes a prime method for hunting. Mosasaurs modify their terrestrial ear into a super amplification system that makes sounds 38 times louder. In his studies of the Mosasaur, paleontologist Dr. James Lamb has been able to reconstruct the creature's hearing mechanism. This little piece fits in this pit and moves back and forth and then this piece fits here, and a small movement in this first piece creates a large movement in this one. 
So it's a system that's finely tuned for conducting sound through water. Even though sound can lead them to the prey, it's difficult to detect a target if it's in murky water. 